Wendell, we're going to see if you can handle life. My camera is being really freaking weird. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's making me annoyed. Okay, I think it's working. So, this is the mess that is my packing situation. So I have everything I think I need more or less. I'm doing laundry because there's some things in the laundry I think I need. I'm not going to pack the g when She's going to stay home. Yeah, you are. Ooh. Yeah, she hates that. Um, I got my clothes back from ASOS. So I do plan to update that. I'm just not sure how. I haven't edited that footage yet. By the time this comes out, it should be edited. I just don't know if I want to add it all in or do like post. I don't know. I have to figure that out. But in any case, this is how I pack. And I thought I'd give you guys some tips and tricks. So I like to pull everything out and kind of get everything like this is obviously not organized but I kind of plan I figure out what activities I am planning to do what activities I'm planning to do what clothes I would need for those and like all that does and just kind of toss it and put everything out so I can visually see it and then I'm going to sort through all the pants all the tops kind of mentally check again if I really want slash need all of that and then, depending how much stuff I'm bringing, like where I'm going and what the situation is, I'll either just put it in my luggage and call it a day, or I'll put it in like a vacuum sealed bag, which is what I might have to do with this stuff. We'll see. So, yeah, this is all my clothes. I still have, and I make a list on my phone too of all the stuff I need. So I still need, like, my own medical stuff. I need to pack my makeup. I need jewelry. So there's still stuff to be done. This isn't it. But I'm going to kind of figure out what I still need to do here. And then I'll show you guys again when there's more to show you. Because currently, there's not. It's just a mess. So that's my plan. We will see. I think someone's trying to tell us something. Gwendo! No. You can't come. I'm sorry. Oh, my land. Are you trying to come? No, you can't. Oh, my gosh, I can't. You stop. I'm just trying to attack the camera. I've got most of my stuff laid up. Words. I've gotten most of my stuff laid out I'm just going to be putting them in here and then if need be I'm going to use the vacuum bag so that's the plan uh, as soon as I get Gwendol out of the luggage because she seems to think this is like a fun bed and it's not Gwendol it's not for you I can't Oh. She's packed. So there's still a couple things I have to stick in there, but I put my bathing suits up there and my water shoes are up there. I have like undergarments over in this in, in that section, so nobody needs to see that. But um yeah, so I have undergarments in there and like one other bathing suit and then in here I have like all the rest of my things, mostly shirts on this end and then bottoms over here, dresses kind of in the middle. I have two fanny packs because there's just times where we're going to be walking and I don't want to have a bag on my back or across my body. So I'm excited to use those. I have some running shoes tucked in there, nothing in the front pockets for now. Then over here I have like my overnight bag which is just for kind of more when we go and when we come back because we're doing stops. Like overnight stops so that's the plan for that is like we're gonna go out to like a nice little downtown place and I don't really know what's planned but I brought something bougie some shoes my pajamas um, I'm gonna be putting my makeup in here and shower stuff and toothbrush and all that's in there too and then I have my beach bag which goes separate and my snorkeling kit and then this I just need to cut the tag off of. 
Oh, I still have my little backpack. I have to stick somewhere, too. But, yeah, overall, like, I didn't need to use it. I might still bring the vacuum bag in case we go shopping and I find some stuff. I don't think it would be so overfilled that I wouldn't be able to fit it. But just in case, I might do that. And there's still stuff I have to pack. Like I said, there's some other clothes, like just a few things that I have to stick in this bag. Yes, in that bag. And then, like my electronics and stuff like that so those are more last minute items but as for packing I put the bulkier stuff on the bottom and I rolled everything except my Jurassic Park t-shirt but otherwise everything is rolled because I've heard that it takes up less space and from my experience it's true I kind of like haphazardly just threw everything in there so it's not like daintily folded because when you fold eventually it can bulk and be more like there's just more air in between I don't know I'm doing a really poor job but even my shorts and everything are rolled so rolling's definitely helpful I put all the bulky stuff on the bottom and really crammed everything and then put the kind of softer stuff just in spaces so I mean I'm not the kind of person who has to needs to be pristine this is just a pretty casual trip I mean obviously if we were going for some kind of bougie event like I'm, go I'm traveling in October for a wedding I probably wouldn't pack like this I actually don't know how I'm gonna pack I don't know how I'm gonna <sighs> problems for the future me so yeah basically I don't know if this video is helpful at all but Gwendol did eventually leave the bag and I was able to put everything in it so a weird sounds happening yeah, I guess my tips are just, I tend to bring more than one bag. If you're going to a destination, like we're going to visit my friends and we're going to do a bunch of stuff. So I'm packing a bit more clothing because they have plans, I believe, that we don't know about. And we have our own plans that we're doing during the day. And some of it's kind of more rough and tumble and some of it's just lounging. But if we were going to a destination, like we've been to Cuba, I've been to Dominican, those kind of places, I would pack like less than half of what's in here. Like you really only need to bring primarily bathing suits, maybe a little bit of a wrap, and then like evening clothes for when you go to a la carte. Because otherwise, you're in the water most of the time. And then you're going on like excursions, but even excursions are like, you can pack an outfit or two and you'd be set. So this is more casual, like landing stuff um, we are definitely going to go in the water we have no real bodies of water here in Alberta so like nice like ugh. we have Banff and Lake Louise but that's not close by and it's glacier water so from what I know it's not the warmest and I don't know if I'm assuming there's beaches somewhere but they're not close by for us in Edmonton. So the ones that are close by are kind of like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So <laughs> swimming's not something we can do as much, unfortunately. And back home, we'd swim all the time because we were right on Lake Ontario. So it wasn't challenging, but here it is. So we're taking full advantage of the lakes and rivers that are in the Okanagan. But we're also like wine tasting and hiking and just touring downtown and stuff like that so there's lots going on there and we're seeing people so we gotta be presentable so yeah that's my suggestions make a list look at it check it again make sure it coordinates with what you plan on doing and then shove it in there I really like vacuum bags they're quite helpful but you have to pack them a certain way as well or else it doesn't really do anything it's like when you see or if you've seen like vacuum packed meat so it just it takes the air out but in that case you're probably better off to fold than to roll so if you don't have it and you're just if you don't have a bag and you're kind of crunched on space I'd roll I'd roll anyway just because it's a step you don't have to take. And again, if you're going somewhere like a destination, you're not going to have a vacuum to be able to vacuum seal your stuff. But, yeah. This 
works. I 10 out of 10 recommend making a list. I 10 out of 10 recommend like laying it out just so you can see how much stuff you're taking. And then when you pack it, just roll everything. And make sure like to shove stuff where you can. I mean, if I was low on space, there's the outside compartments too. And this one expands, but I don't want to expand if I don't have to. So it doesn't, like I just closed it and it closed fine. So I think I'll be okay. And this is like a medium bag. This isn't like a large bag. I didn't bother to get the large bag in the set. So I have like this medium sized one and then like ooh, the, what's it called? Carry on approved one. So this isn't a jumbo one. The jumbo ones are insane. Unless you're going somewhere for like a month. I wouldn't recommend it. Because they weigh a ton. So you're going to be clocked on that. And they're just a struggle to move around. Like once you get somewhere you have to shove it. In. It's just too much. So that's my travel hints. I hope it's helpful. Comment down below if you've traveled recently. Let us know where you've traveled to and let us know if you have any other tips and tricks. Thanks y'all. Bye.